First match of DreamHack Tours in the Quake 2v2 Open. Uh, we are on Agent at the beginning. I'm going to take a quick look and see. So we're starting out with the Visors and the Galenas. I think this is going to be a trend that we'll be seeing throughout the tournament. Agent rocking Ooh. the Galena, but look at that. Base is cleaning up uh, two early frags. Uh, and let's try and see how uh, he's getting on at the moment. It very much seemed like he, he didn't need to use his piercing sight during the fight itself, so he was able to use it when he knows they're both spawned. He's been able to communicate that towards Agent. They're going to be able to maintain a lot more control now. They know exactly where the guys are going to be. You can actually see Agent coming up behind, so you wonder if Base is going to come in there now. He's going to try and play it safe. No need to overextend, right? A 3-0 lead. Keep that lead. Indeed, indeed. Uh, base uh, guy with a lot to prove on LAN. I'm really excited to see how he's going to be able to do it. Is he going to finally be able to break out like he's been waiting? We finally after a minute of play, managed to get a frag from the Thunder Orcs, guys. Base going up versus Strengths. He does manage to get himself the mega health, but Strengths is going to be able to get his first kill as well. Ooh, okay. Wow. <laughs> right. Interesting exchange right there. Obviously, the damage being done with the gauntlet, so he couldn't survive the splash damage. It's one of those suicides that's like, well, if you want to get the kill, you didn't have much choice in the matter. Strengths, can he get the double? Going in for one more, going in for the token, but it's not enough. Unfortunately, doesn't work out. Would be a great trade for Strengths to pick up the, uh, the kill. Sidorak trying to get these 2v1s going, but at the moment, Cyberfy definitely getting the better of them. Uh, going to switch back over to the 7 to 2 for the time being. It Maybe. definitely seemed like in that situation, Strengths tried to get the push straight off spawn, knowing that they might have been quite weak. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, he miscalculated a little bit and paid the price. If you try and rush early in that situation, you kind of just risk the lead going away. You can actually see the snowball effect right now. Cyberfight, it was only 3 0. Now, there's a 6 frag difference. Yeah, absolutely. And look at that. They are just picking them up once again. We are in a best of three, though, uh, remember, guys? Um, I suspect Sirius might take a little bit to warm up at it. This is his first ever LAN competitive match, so I've still got to give my hats off to him. Uh, he's going to have to brave this one out, but hopefully he'll start to get into the mix a little bit. Base picking up one more, gets rid of that totem. Let's see if he can find any further frags. Now, in, in instances right there where Base got the ambush with the piercing sight, you know, so often, so often people kind of like consider Visor's best trap weapons if he can get the, you know, the vision be either a rocket or a rail or a surprise like that. Understanding that, well, he's going to die to a rail, but there's even a small chance I might miss it. If I surprise him with LG, I'll push him back fresh around the corner. There's nothing he can do. The death is absolutely guaranteed. Mm. LG, such a popular weapon if you surprise someone as Visor. Oh, completely. Look at that, 15 to 2. I yeah, don't, this is rough. I don't know if I was expecting that straight away. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. We're in the very pre preliminary stages of even this map. Um, but we need to see some uh, uh, some strength coming out of Sirius and strength. That is going to be is it a 2 for 1. Base is so stacked. There's no way they're going to be able to recover from that at all. Um, let's take a look at Sirius for a little bit. Now he's going to be able to use that piercing sight, but because they've just respawned, they're not going to have much to be able to do much about the fight. Going in for the super nail gun, but I'm actually not sure he's going to win this. Uh, but strength. Amazing sport and a double rail. There Very impressive. Go. That's a start. And he's got uh, the LG to cover. They need to start getting their control going as well. Something that Cyberfight have been doing really well is keeping a time off those heavies, the Mega, and managing to retain that control a lot. Agent is going to be able to take down Sirius. And uh, Strengths running around of 19 points of health. There's nothing much for him apart from his own totems. And even at this health, still available if it's charged. There we go. Nice LG on the jump pad, but he's not going to take the second fight. I like that from Strengths. But oh, no, he tries, and Agent's like, all right, mate, go. See how far that gets you. He's been loading up a lot of totems over there at the beginning, and it's uh, already coming to fruition for him. We've got power up number two. Agent trying to get those uh, that rocket working for him nicely. Strengths goes down, and I think... Uh, base. Yeah, he's all health up again with uh, a couple of totems. He's hitting a good rail as well, and he's starting to come into his own a bit. And it looked like base was completely content with Agent taking the heavy, because if I've got a max stack of 150 and protection, I mean, at that point, who needs heavy? If you both have a crazy stack, you're not going to die yeah. in those 2v2 situations. And of course, they have the time on the Mega, which means that when it runs out, perfect timing base now has more than enough health to take a fight again. Perfect. Oh, oh, the ambush. Is he going to get a frag? Especially with uh, Agent coming down to play. No, Sirius gets it, but it's going to be one for two. Let's go back over to Sirius. Got machine gun at the moment. And right now, him and Strength have got to have a long, hard think about what is going on in this game right now. Sirius trying to push him with a machine gun. Does get some good damage. Eventually gets traded out, but starting to get the numbers on the board is going to be important. Anything to lift their spirits a bit, I think. 
at this point when when the match is going really really dominant you know you, you're not going to be necessarily planning for the next map but you said it yourself right in these situations where like Sirius is new to land maybe he needs some time to warm up mm -hmm. we might see that warm up take place throughout the entire 15 minutes of this map number one yeah. and it, it's, it wouldn't be surprising we've seen that many many times before but either way it's looking pretty damn good for Cyberfight right now it is a, it's a different level of nerves that come into it. Sure, they're going to have been warming up before the game's actually started. Oh my so god, five totems are that. They, sh they should not be letting that happen. But this is it. The competitive spirits are out. But right now, Agent and Base are very much taking control of the situation. Now, the totems in 2v2, you mentioned, right? Five totems being down and how if you've let a Galena get that, I mean, they re it kind of shows how much control you're able to establish. And lovely weapon switching from base. Excellent decision. And you can heal up on the totem, so that's a good win. Um, but it shows how much control that she can display if you have five totems and it's uncontested. But she does such an amazing job of just shutting down movement against the other team. Yes, it heals. Oh. Yes, you can be almost like a medic of sorts. But the big thing is those totems do a ton of damage and they can shut down teleporters. A very popular way to get around. Yeah, completely. We uh, did see strengths fall victim to that a couple of times. There's so many totems everywhere, I swear. Every corner, if base takes damage, he just walks around a corner and he's finding a little bit more help. A couple more totems down at the bottom. Seems like almost a bit of communication breakdown. Oh uh, my god. Ooh. But I mean, so, so long as Cyberfight hold control of the heavy, that heavy is going to be more than just a means to get armor. It's a means to get a ton of HP back. I want to actually quickly go over to Agent. All right, Agent's lost a few of them now. He did have uh, the flames coming out earlier, um, but uh, he should have his totem up uh, relatively soon, if not already, in fact, just a case of deciding where he wants to put it. Heavy armor is up. I want to see who was taking that. It is serious, so I'll check him out a little bit. This is definitely someone I've got my eyes on uh, a lot in Group A to see how he's able to progress. They're moving around this together. should be a free frag. 2v1. Nice rail as well. Good job, Sirius. Not going to give base enough time to actually go there and support. He's going to try and play that distance game. No way he's going to take the fight head on. Not when he's outnumbered. Trying to come in for the support in that fight, but strength seems to be okay. Base has taken heavy. Has he? Oh, no, it's still up, but he gets a double kill. And he's able to... Uh, Get the heavy for his teammate as well afterwards. Yeah, it's one of those best case scenarios where not only do you win a fight taking minimal damage, but your reward is the, mm. uh, the pickup that you didn't need before. And speaking of which, here comes another one, Mega Health. They're going to be timing that, of course. A popular thing in 2v2 is making sure you're calling out that respawn timer of whatever pickup it is uh, to the teammate you have. They're going to have that knowledge. That's a push from Sirius there, trying to get the refrag, but Sirius does get himself a double kill. And I think for Sirius, he can be quite an emotional player sometimes online, but I think he's got to approach this one head on. It's going to be sort of like, let's face the reality, a little bit of a coast now for Cyberfight moving on to uh, map two. Uh, they've really just got to not make mistakes, make sure they're trading in the frags at least one for two, and they're going to be okay getting to the end of this map with still a convincing advantage. With a difference this, this significant, yeah. They can just play the numbers game at this stage. Um, I mean, I know it's 15 minutes per game, so they're not going to be able to really play to any sort of timeout. It is going to be the frag limit we're more likely to see. But we're starting to see a little bit more of those pickups coming through for Thunder Orc. I wonder if that is Cyberfight just trying to play it safe, stick together a lot more often, and actually start taking those trades rather than trying to fight for any kind of control. They've got to be careful, though, because, you know, there is a snowball effect that we can see in 2v2. It would be a miraculous comeback, but a comeback is possible until that map is over. Yeah. And they are starting to rack them up a little bit. But is it enough? That is the question. Oh, God. The amount of damage just then. Base managing to pull trigger early on his piercing sight and get the kill early. Sirius does get himself the heavy armor. But again, we saw a little bit more of a disconnect in that fight. Base and Agent still sticking together and managing to get those uh, positive exchanges for themselves. Completely outnumbered as well. I wonder if the support, actually because of the missed rails, is it going to allow them to win this? It wow. is going to be uncontested. That. All because of those missed rails gave base the time to survive. Well, see, a lot of people, obviously the railgun's a very nice weapon, very powerful. You're dealing 80 damage or sometimes 100 damage if you're zooming in with it. But if you miss that shot, you've got to wait for that reload time before you can shoot again. A lot of people prefer... <laughs> if you hit the shots like that. Yeah, a lot of people prefer just to... All right, let's go with the machine gun because I know I can get more reliable damage over time. Or the lightning gun, depending on your range, or even nail gun can be good. So you've got to weigh up those risks a bit. If you're missing your rails, you can end up really failing your teammate in these fights. I mean, if you're missing a rail, you may as well not be firing at all, right? You're yeah. there, but you're just, a, you're just a body to pick up. Speaking exactly. of which, three frags left, two at that range. It's going to be, at this stage, this has to be Cyber Fights map. So at this, at this point, I think Thunderhawk, they're already, I think, going to be coordinating what do we do next. 
They were looking a bit better, I think, in the last two to three minutes. Maybe a little bit longer. They were starting to get better exchanges. We could see that occasionally now they were getting two for nothings. And uh, they've gotten themselves two power-ups in a row. Um, so anything they can do now. If they can get themselves to 25 or even 30, if that's even possible for them, that would be brilliant. And he's going to get himself a uh, double over here. Sirius. Looking good with the quad. Let's have a look at the scores. Sirius has got 14, strengths of 10, but it is base with 34 yeah. on his first map of the tournament. And one thing base tends to... Oh, oh. really good shots from Sirius. If he's, if he's going to be sort of like potentially getting more ready for the next maps, he's going to be, you know, warm up nice and limber. I think the ending of this map is pretty much how you do that. We're seeing some good shots coming out from Sirius. If he can continue this into our next map, I think they'll be in a better place. Oh, oh. that was really crisp. So I like seeing Sirius starting to hit these shots. And you can see just by his mouse control, you can see a little bit more confidence coming out in his play. It's exactly what he needs. It, it, it can be a real mind bender when you go to your first land in that competitive environment. You, know, you put yourself under a lot of pressure. Looks, look at base. He's absolutely stomped through uh, this map. Let's see if he's going to be one to close it out or if his teammate Asian can. And this is quite common of base in 2v2. Whenever you watch base play with Agent, he's always the star performer of the team. I know that's because Agent does actually tend to sometimes play, I guess, the more, I say supporty roles, but, you know, the, the kind of champions that are able to set up while your teammate runs around and does all the damage, of which, obviously, that's, we see that as visor all the time. Base just needs one more to pick up. It is a 2v2, and they just that's need one. one frag to win the map. Cyberfight looking excellent in really, map number one. Really dominant uh, performance from Cyberfight there. And you can see, what was it, like 15 to 2? or something that we saw a score really early on. Strengths and Sirius got no traction whatsoever during that uh, early stages of the game. They started to look a little better later on, I think, in terms of expectations for that map. Yeah, th they need to work their way into this, this series a bit. That was a little bit of an underperformance, I'd say. I mean, like it's like you said yourself, though, right? So it's there's there's like a clash of experience coming through a lot mm. of these teams, and particularly with Thunderhawk. But our next map is going to be Blood Run. Yes. So we have a, a little bit of a change of pace. Uh, things are a lot more close quarters, in yep. fact. Um, I actually would wonder if uh, we kind of expect people to sort of keep with tradition. I think we know base has actually been seen using keel quite regularly. Mm -hmm. He's one of those main players in like that part of the world that likes to go to this champion when the map calls for it. Sure. Uh, I think in this setting, even though we see all, you know we see keel get picked quite often in mm -hmm. different circumstances at this LAN when there's a, a set meta and these guys look really good with the conventional picks. I'd be surprised if they changed away. That said, base looking really strong. We've mentioned before that he kind of has had I'm pleasantly surprised. He's had a difficult time at LAN so far, I'm really where he's really strong online and then when the land comes he just can't really live up to that expectation yeah. and play at the standard we know he can play at i'm super pleasantly surprised by what base has done in the first map and they won um strengths and series's map pick which was ruins uh cyber fights pick is blood run which makes me a little bit anxious for them of course if thunder rocks do t uh, do end up losing this game it does not mean that they are out of the tournament they will sit in the lower side of the uh, gsl group bracket and uh, whoever loses in the round after they will be playing uh, to continue their survival essentially so um time for reflection if they're not able to get the w here on blood run there's the potential that these guys might have to play again as well depending on yep. uh, if whoever wins this series moves on to face team liquid and then inevitably you know they, they might fall and it's actually that's an unfortunate start one oh, to minus no. one because strength another one of those point blank suicides just a bit too close can't really do much about that rocket damage Right, I'm gonna go over to the Thunder Rocks guys because starting on negative one is never nice, but at least Strex is able to get a frag fairly early on. Uh, but it is definitely the cyber fight that are doing a little bit better. There's pressure from the side agent getting himself another kill. Is Sirius able to do anything at all? Nailgun comes out, but it is base just ripping him apart. I'm on agent as he's just taken the heavy armor and their control is, is absolutely top. Agent is so well known for his meticulous timing in Quake, and uh, it's showing here. Nice rocket stuff from Sirius. I think on a map like this in particular, a player like Agent can really come into his element because he is one of the strongest duelers in the world. Mm -hmm. And it, when you're playing 2v2, there are certain fundamentals from Dawn that of course you can carry over. Like how to time really well, how to, you know, making these predictions on where someone's gonna go. You have obviously less scope for prediction on 2v2 because there's more noise you can actually hear and see a lot more that's going on. <laughs> but I think Agent and Base together is a really dangerous combination, especially on this map. Yeah, completely. Strength does get himself a kill. And they brought it within one frag. So, you know, I was almost expecting that we're gonna get a 15 and two start once again, but it looks like they've been able to work their way into this a little bit more. I wanted to take note to see uh, how serious and strengths are really aligning themselves 
in coordination because there tends to be a lot of support play from both uh, sides of agent and base. They, they tend to help each other in fights a bit more than Strix and Sirius. One frag in between these guys right now, but we're gonna, that could change now the power-up's about to spawn. Oh, that was a great Who's gonna get it? rocket. But uh, Sirius, he's a little bit late in there. He does get himself a hit, the kill onto base. Uh, has the base got a spawn behind him? No, it was just Agent destroying him with LG. We've got strengths moving in, but it's 80 health and a quad for Agent. Now, unfortunately, normally you sort of play that runaway game. The issue with trying to run away from power up on Blood Run is that it's a small map. There is only so many ways I think you can try and run away from someone that's got a quad rampage on the go. Like, there's two people under here. Could be a double kill for Agent. Going in with the nail gun. I actually love that decision if there's two people there and a totem. But he had no choice. Strengths had to try and get out of there. He it's was like, damned if he did, damned if he didn't. Let me escape, please. But it's just not been possible at all. I, I really think the beginning of this run was you know, bad news for Thunderhawks because it seemed to be Strengths rushing in to try and attack the, the quad, the quad room, which was held by base and agent. Ooh. And then uh, it was uh, Sirius came in shortly after, but Strengths had already died. And then the Strengths had respawned and he came in, but then Sirius died. It was like, this is, you're just giving away frags at the moment. We'll play together a little bit more. Because we've got a five frag advantage for Cyberfight and it's just getting bigger. That was a delicious midair. Not before it's returned though by Sirius. Try to get some of those rails in the go, but again, missing those rail shots. So again, it's unreturned damage. Mm, nothing at all. He got rid of a totem, and that's pretty much the most positive thing you can take away from that. And that's really if we look hard. Base with the nail gun, trying to defend best he can. Did about 100 or so damage. Serious? Um, is that like four rails in a row that I think he's missed so far? Yeah, he needs oh, to get five. close. So Strengths is doing all the work. There we go. We've got the rail from Sirius coming out. And this is 13 to 12. It's close. It there's, is. There's moments of complete dominance from Cyberfight, but we're starting to see some uh, some recovery happening uh, with Sirius. Strengths. I think in those situations where you're dealing with two rails at once, it's almost like impossible to dodge. Because if you're trying to like duke one rail, you're almost like completely sandwiched in. You're going to eat one of them sooner or later. Mm. And that's exactly what you just saw there when Sirius finally landed that sixth rail. Let's have a look at this power up setter now. We've got 10 seconds until it spawns. So base is here already. Agent's guarding the shotgun uh, exit. Strength has gone down. Sirius comes out. And his LG does do good damage, but it's not going to be enough to take the frag. And base is like, I'm not going to take it yet. I don't have enough health. Going to give it to Agent, who's got a bigger stack. And the timing. The second he sees Agent collect the protection, that's when we see the piercing sight. Because again, if they're going to try and run away, you can't run from Visor. He knows exactly yeah. where you're going to be. Give me all that juicy intel, please, base. And I'll do the rest of the work. And uh, we're just under half of it left. He's going to be running into strengths over there. Sirius is going to be with him. They are trying to double team him at the moment, but that uh, protection oh. is going to outlast any amount of damage that they can do. And just get away a little bit or try to bounce them away with rockets and find some sort of escape. Every time there's a power up and they take it, they extend their frag advantage by five or so kills. I think it was um, excellent oh choosing who to pick out as well. He understood that Strengths had done loads of damage with the rocket, so he knew that when he inevitably switched the LG, that was the target he had to take out first. He survived with very little HP. It was because he was picking his target so well that he actually was able to 2v1 that situation, even with protection. It's gonna be a 2v2. Or oh, two HP left for him. Strengths, he does get the kill with the nail gun, and Sirius also comes out on form, but he's only on six HP himself. And there was 12 health for Strengths. They're working with absolutely nothing. They're gonna find uh, one over Omega. Strengths landing a rail. You have to trust him to hit all of the shots. He is renowned for his solid aim. Yeah, if there's one thing that Strengths is going to always bring to the table, it's that consistent accuracy. Knowing that if there's a fight, oh he's going to be doing damage. But speaking of damage, the what? Super Nail Gun says hello. What was that? Uh, this is very much a map where the Super Nail Gun is, uh, uh, is the leading factor. If you can uh, get some good accuracies going with that, you've got a lot of tight corridors that you can work with, even attacking onto power up. That Nail Gun is going to do loads of damage. Ooh. Strengths up behind. He's going to be able to try and get the heavy, but I wonder if it's going to pay for the result. No, he doesn't. He actually survives. Not much health, but a lovely charged rail. See the charged rail a couple of patches ago now doing 100 damage instead of the damage you know, sort of seeing Dreamhack last time. Railgun <laughs> had some significant changes since then. Oh my god. Agent is my just hitting god. everything. Dropping these bombs over on the Thunder Orcs, guys. Uh, he didn't manage to heal up off that turn. There we go. He'll, he'll come back and take the health. I'd say he's only got one rocket, but... Oh. Oh. Come on, Agent. We were observing you. Oh, serious. If you landed that other rail, that could have been another uh, foot in the door on this map. But uh, it's three power-ups given to Cyberfight, and that's been the main difference. The power-up is 
It's so important to be able to control, and if you find yourself not getting them, you're probably going to be losing out on a lot of uh, a lot of kills. But Agent, he actually wasn't able to collect on the way to collect a rocket. In fact, that's why he was out there. But because he only had one, he wasn't able to take that fight. But at least he survived. If they have a, a, a lead like this, don't give up a single frag. Just get out of there. I'd like Sirius and Strengths now to slow down uh, for the next 40 seconds a little bit and make sure that the next power-up attack is crisp and golden, okay? They've, they've got to be successful there, challenge hard, or at least make sure that Agent and Base are extremely low on the health by the, end of, by the time it gets picked up. That's been a consistent issue for these guys. There's plenty of time oh left. Walks God. right into another totem, but that, that's Galena in 2v2. That's why he's so good. And on maps like this, where if you don't use the teleporters, your movement is so horrifically limited. Sometimes you just have to try and take that risk. Oh. Strengths did get a bit of damage going on there. Yeah, it's less than 30 seconds, and if I were them, I'd almost start thinking about setting up the power-up right now. Does get the kill going. He's got a totem for himself. He's trying to help out Sirius a bit, but I'll just fall back. Get yourself uh, through the teleporter and over to the protection. And I think there's a Sirius over the other side who's making it as well. He's got the lightning gun. He's got rockets going against him, but he is going to make it work. Strengths has come from LG. Base is attacking. They're getting the frags, and there's another push. This is much, much better play from the Thunder Rocks players. And it was complete coordination. You could see how quickly both players were, like, snapping to the next target straight away at the same time because they're calling it from the piercing site. And even without the piercing site, they know what they have to do, and they're listening to each other. That's exactly why they're able to take that protection. And, to be honest, the frag difference is not hugely significant. Not, this, not at this point, especially now they've got protection, but the runaway game. We're seeing them sit near those teleporters. If they see someone nearby, they're just going to use it and try and separate. If they lose one frag now, who cares? Protection's yeah. almost completely gone. Is he oh going to lose God. this? I thought he was going to go down. For, at least for Strengths' sake, uh, Sirius has been able to pick up uh, a kill or two. Um, but Strengths didn't really get much himself with it. Sirius is going to go down. Strengths has got a stack, but he's moved into this hallway where he was. I think Agent possibly could have done a bit more damage, in fact. I feel like Cyberfight played around that power-up really well. And you know, at the end of the day, when someone has power-up, you're going to lose frags. There really is, isn't much you can do about it. But what you can do is minimize the losses that you take. And knowing that they have such a, a decent lead right now, caught in the jump pad, Strengths probably not going to survive this. No, wonderfully Perfect placed switch. rocket. Perfect switch from Strengths. He knew that he needed to land that in order to have a chance. Gets a rail onto base. Good pressure from it. I'm going to stick with uh, Strengths for a little bit, actually. Uh, I don't think we've seen this guy on land since ESWC last year, where he managed to get himself top four. Uh, it's really nice to see, uh, you know, he's a French player, of course, making his way from Paris down to, to talk to have a game. Uh, Strengths, uh, sorry, Sirius by his side. Now we need to see Strengths start to move over towards where Quad's going to be. They need to get that pressure onto the power-up. Strengths is going to go down, which means he's going to lose out on a lot of weapons. Sirius might need to be a bit of a playmaker. I think in that situation, if you're going to get fragged, it has to be then and definitely not now. If you die now, there's really not much you can do to fight for the power-up. They're in the power-up room, but Sirius has taken so much damage, and base just coming in full steam ahead. This is a 2v1. I don't know if Strengths oh. can survive this. Now, this is disaster. This really is. It's such an important time in the game. They are going to attack because the power comes a little bit late, but Wait they a get minute. the kill on both of them. Huge, huge plays from Thunderhawks. Strengths. He's got a better uh, uh, stack, so he's going to be taking the quad. He can now move. He's found base straight away. Uh, he got the kill onto him just then, and he's found Agent up at the top. He's got to watch out for these rockets. He cannot lose his life. It's so important that he does not give up that quad damage. Superb weapon switching from Strengths, knowing that even the regular machine gun is going to get the job done when you've got quad damage. That's going to get more dangerous. Now he's got the heavy, but again, they're trying to dodge. Uh, <laughs> one totem goes down. Base, quad damage totem. No one's surviving that. It's now six frags between them. Strengths of Sirius are making a little bit of a comeback, and it is, you know, they're a map down. They've got to win this if they want a chance in uh, uh, going, continuing through the winner's side. Absolutely. And with the heavy spawning, I wonder if they can maintain control of these two pickups. Maybe that's how they get back into the fight. But on Blood Run in particular, mm. heavy armor, kind of hard to take without taking some damage yourself. Let's have a look at Sirius. Taking a lot of damage. I think he knows where the totems are, so he's going to go head over a hill. I'm going to I'm going to catch up with uh, uh, Sirius. We found the totems. Uh, anywhere, buddy? He's going to go in for the attack. Actually, oh, they managed oh. to take away the mega health. They lose out on two kills just then. Let's stay with the cyber fight guys for a little bit. I've been watching Thunderhawk quite a lot. 
Uh, but because they were doing damage to Sirius when he took heavy, there's mm. no way Cyberfight aren't going to have timing on that as well. They're going to know when both these pickups pick are going to spawn. I think that's actually why they're going to be sort of near the center. Getting some nice rails from base at the moment. He's going to have to keep hitting these if they want to just coast their way over to uh, the end. Another two for nothing, and all that strong work from Thunderhawks previously is starting uh, to go to waste. The only way really for them to return now is to get these last two power-ups and give up minimum frags between them. Strength clears up the LG side. And uh, Sirius trying to move in. He needs help from Strength to sort of double team onto Agent. Machine gun coming out. It's a good oh. switch, but base is right there next to them. Three kills left for Cyberfight. And on Blood Run in particular. But there's no way base is not going to be on the complete warpath with this. He's got a maximum stack. He's got a nice amount of rockets to get the frags done. But hang on a minute, it's going to be a two versus one. It's going to be enough. I can see Agent from up top and another totem goes down. Agent knowing that he has the totem, he has that level of control. Uh, he doesn't even need to bother looking behind him because his totem's got his back. One more frag and that's Strix it. is just running away. It's like, please spare me at the moment. The LG, not quite enough to take him down. I want to live. <laughs> at Strix kills himself. Suicided. That's good. That's perfect because he need, needs to... He was weak. He knows that if he dies, then it's obviously going to be the game to cyber fight. Very so good he's decision. just respawning so that he can get his full stack going. Very, very, very good decision. Good rocket from down below. Oh, my God. Whoa. Base, Base just temporarily sent into orbit right there. The problem is, it's just... This is almost seems like too much of a big mountain to climb here. One frag. You can't die once. He's just got piercing sight. You have to run away. Misses the rail. And it's a 2v1 in the end. Oh. Sandwiched in. And it's going to be Agent and Base comfortably moving on. And they'll now face Team Liquid later. Yeah, that's absolutely right. We're going to be seeing Thunderhawks go down into the loser bracket side of uh, the GSL format. Uh, the frags over there, I think, I think that was uh, Agent that was slightly in there. Uh, I think Agent there. actually had 10 more frags there. It was 30 to 20. Wow. Agent 